This is a step by step how to use our email sender. When you purchase credit, all you have to do is create your account, purchase credit, and start sending message. No SMTP needed. I would like us to start by importing email list on our sender. Just click contact. Contact means where you put your email addresses or phone numbers. But in this video, is for email, so we need to create group. This group means if you have a specific uh, email list to send, you name your, your email list on a notepad, maybe you want to send message to investors, you can just create a group by clicking add group and just create investors group by typing investors. So in this group is where I will import my email list. As you can see, the contact is zero. You can create as many lists as you can so that you can categorize your email addresses on the on on the group. So next thing I is to click list to import the contact list, or you can just open view contact here. On the view contact, you can just click create contact so that we can import our email from notepad to here. Just click import CSV file. This can even work with notepad, don't worry about it. If you have email addresses on notepad like me, this is my notepad here. This is my email address that I want to use on this demo. And make sure that all your email is on new line like this, new, new line, all your email, make sure they are on new line. It's not like this. Uh, uh, make sure your email is not scattered like this. After you extract email, make sure they're all in new line, like this ones. You see how I said in new line? But this list is not good. So what we need to do, let me use my own uh, uh, testing for example. If you add your list, email on list for list, so what you need to do at the top of this, in the top, make sure you add email header email header shows what is in the notepad just write email e is going to be capital letter this is email now we tell our system oh i'm importing email or you can even make it email contact but just write email and click save make sure email is the first thing on your list and then are uh, the domains email you want to people you want to send message their email addresses follows line by line so we know it, we need to import this email on our computer on our email sender to do that let's go back to our sender and now you remember that we click group let me take you back we click we create group and we need to import this email on a, this group so that this email will remain on our contact on this our platform just click create contact and now you can switch to import contacts. Don't forget, this is a choose a group. You see the meaning here? Group, a group to store your contact. This is for you to store your contact as bank. You need to store your contact on our system. Just select the group investors. Remember, I create group investors. I want to import email addresses on investors group. So now click upload CSV file. So now this is my testing list. I can just click it and open. So it's going to rotate and tell you, oh, you want to send email. If there is another header, it's going to show you. And I'm going to show you when I want to import the second contact list. So here now, it's telling me, hey, you want to send email. You want to upload email list. And this here, do not upload email list. We're uploading email contact. So now select email contact. When you click drop down, you select email contact instead of only email. Just make it email contact. This here. So now that we do it, just click save and submit. Our contacts have started uploading on our own email on our email server. So next thing we need to do here is to create another group. Let's say you have another. You can see here. The email haven't arrived because I just submit. It's going to import all of them. So next thing is to create another group. Let's say you have multiple uh, 
email in different notepads on different people, CEO, investors, job seekers, and whatever business you are doing. If you have different email addresses or email you have already extract, you can you can also categorize them on our sender. Next, I'm going to make this one CEO. I want to send email to CEOs. Oh, sorry. Click create again. Okay, CEO and save. Okay. I have to delete one. So next thing I have to do here is to import email on CEO again. Click view contact and create contact. This time, just click import contact. I'm going to choose CEO. You see, now CEO and investors, they're going to choose CEO to import my contact on it. And click upload. This time around, I'm going to upload my another file so I'm not, let me go to my download screw all the way to down and i'm going to find my list this is my list and i have to click open in this case you're also telling me oh you want to import email yes i want to import email select email again and save it and submit as you can see here, you can see that uh, investors is only for email addresses on it. Only for email addresses is inside that file. And this is the file. This is the file here. Only for email addresses on this file. Now the file is showing us for, you can open it to view all contacts. And you can see how it is, email addresses, you can see it here. Anywhere you don't want to send a message, you can turn it off or can leave it on. I don't want to play around with that. I'm going to do video about that later. Now, how can we send message to this email list we just import on our sender? Next step, just go straight to message and choose to send email. Click email and send email. Click send email and choose group audience because we import group. Now, we have to select the group on drop down here. Click it and you see investor shows because investors only email inside for now. The CEO email is still loading. We just submit and it never arrived. Just select investors. Now I select investors, the email list I want to send a message to. Next thing is to choose your SNTP gateway. This means choose gateway that you want to use to send this message. Click it and scroll all the way to SNTP 1. When you purchase, I'm going to show you how to purchase the SNTP here. Very easy, fully set up. Nothing, you know, not any, any setup on this SNTP. Just click SNTP. Uh, now I have choose SNTP. I don't want to schedule message. I want to send this message right now. I'm going to scroll all the way to down to write name. This name means my name, the name of the person that sent the message to this email list. I can do, I'm the CEO of the company. CEO. Now, this is a very important. Pay attention to this single, uh, uh, this feature here. Reply to email address. Reply to email address help you to uh, help the recipient to communicate with you that send a message direct. So this means when your recipient find their message on your inbox and they want to respond to you, when they click reply, the message is going to come direct to your inbox, your own any email addresses you add here. Yes, I want to add this one as my default. It's my own Gmail that I want to receive reply on. Because you don't have access to our server or our SNTP. This is IP SNTP, don't come with email domain. So the reply to this is important if you want to receive respond. So next step is to write our subject line. Hey, I'm here. Uh, this is for demo. So just for demo. And compose your message. You can write anything here. Just check in. This is for demo. Of course, you can also upload HTML here by clicking source. Now this will become source where you can paste your HTML. You can see how this give my hello uh, code. So, and you can also click voice to write your message, which if you can code. Or if you can, turn it to normal, to manual. You can also use a uh, template here. See, templates, you can design your templates here. So, but what I need to do right now, I just have to compose my message and send message. You can send image, you can send video direct on the message. You can design it as you want, but just click send. This is our sender can deliver your message to any inbox. 
Office 365, private domain, business domain, Gmail, and all. You can send message to any email address. Once it's valid, it's going to receive your message on inbox. And I have sent myself message to this email list you see here. This for email list you see here. So to know how to, and you can see here, my message already come my in, to my inbox. You see the pop-up here? You can see the pop-up here. Come to my Outlook email, Office 365 email. That is the email, one of email that are on this email I send message. So Outlook can receive your message on your inbox on their inbox when you use our email sender and how to purchase this email sender when you create your account when you create your account just go straight to plan this is the plans on a plans we have two plan this is twenty thousand naira for monthly forget about this seven days it's just for monthly reason of seven days is that in your first seven days we only allow you to send one thousand message every day 1,000 message every day. 1,000 message every day. And at your first seven days, you purchase this sender. Second here is a 77,000 Naira, 30 days straight away. At your first week, we also allow you to send only 2,000 people message every day, straight away to a month, monthly subscription. When you purchase this 77 one, if in, even if you don't have our email verification or email sender, email extractor, we provide email, we provide email extractor and email verification for you when you purchase this seven seven thousand uh, naira uh, plan. Our asset extractor help you to extract email verification, help you to verify them. And uh, this is how our website look like in the front end. This is how the sender look like. So if you never create an account and you want to know the price, just go to uh, go to pricing and scroll all the way to down. You see, we have two prices for now, 20,000 Naira and 77,000 Naira. Of course, you can pay with any currency of your choice, Bitcoin, credit card, bank transfer, OPAY, Assets Bank, any form of payment. This you are seeing here is a list of our users. It's people we are seeing here right now. So let me log in as a, this user to show you our payment gateway. So this user is new and he never even use anything. So let me show you payment gateway when I want to purchase. So this user is currently a 20,000 Naira uh, monthly uh, subscriber. So if I want to purchase, or let's say I want to upgrade to 77,000 Naira monthly, I'll click upgrade. And here you can see pay now. If I use this pay now, you can also pay with any card, bank transfer, or pay, normal bank transfer or normal online card automatic payment no approval needed once you pay you get access to your you get your credit delivered to your dashboard and you start sending message immediately or you can use manual this manual favor people like you want to pay with bitcoin or if you want to pay with usdt or if you want to pay with OP or even access bank this OP and access bank is for nigeria payment only so if you are not from nigeria do not use manual payment or else if you want to pay with usdt or bitcoin but if you're not from nigeria use automatic if you if i click pay now i can choose next of course now you can see how much you have to spend in naira 77 now you have to click next step and click pay now then pay with pay stack. This pay stack is automatic payment. So which is going to give you a lot of options of any payment method you want. If you want to pay with bank transfer, this is the details here. If you want to pay with card, this is your credit card or debit card here. It, uh, it's working in any country, anywhere you are from, you can access this and use this payment method to make pay purchase. But if you're not from Nigeria and you want to pay uh, manual payment, consider using crypto so in this video i'm going to show you how to compose message effectively see you in this video